How's it going everyone? Out here on Cedar Creek Reservoir in East Texas for the third time this year. It's become our favorite lake over the last two or three years, but this year it's been very bad to us. So hoping to turn things around. This is the official practice day for the second stop of the Team Trail Outdoors season. So hopefully we can figure something out right now. Just up on a bank we normally fish. Um, just checking it for a few minutes because there's a shad spawn going on and this has potential to be really good so we've got someone coming in on us awesome but uh yeah gonna try some shallow stuff at least while it's still early try to find a shad spawn bite um, and then look offshore for a large portion of the day after that so y'all stay tuned hopefully we figure something out I think I like it. Alright guys, first fish of the morning, there's another boat, so didn't want to show it too much, but yeah, let's get started in the morning. Another two and a half, three pounder. Keeper number three of the day. Might be on some. We shall find out. I don't understand how it broke me off, I never break off. 
How's it going everyone? Just kind of wanted to give you guys a midday practice update. It's currently 12.13. We've been out here since about 7.15. So about five hours now. Still have four hours and 47 minutes that we're allowed to practice. We probably won't practice the whole time though. Um, just because it's been a decent day. Uh, started in the, out the morning, fished one of our favorite spots, didn't catch anything on it. We ran up north to our other favorite spot that we typically do well on. And actually we're able to catch some fish on it. We caught two that you guys saw. One was about three and a half and then the other one was probably right at three. That one actually jumped off right at the boat, but we were trying to keep it low key because there's a bunch of boats around. Uh, maybe had one other bite there flipping a worm on a dock, but not too sure. Um, and then we ran, hit another riprap stretch. Uh, we watched another team catch like a three pounder there. And then I hooked something big, but it got off. It felt really big, but I don't. We never saw it. It just went straight down. So it's 50/50 chance that it was either a big bass or like a carp or something. Don't know. But we did see another team catch a bass in the area, so that's a good sign. Then after that, we ran a couple more shallow spots. Didn't really catch anything. So then we moved offshore, concentrating on kind of more flat, tapering points, longer points uh, that kind of come way out off the bank. <laughs> concentrating mostly in anywhere from like eight to 17 feet of water and have started getting bites pretty consistently. Ian caught another one about three pounds on the first one we pulled up to. Um, and then he had two more bites on the second one on a big worm as well, um, but shook both those off because there was boats around. And then I started throwing a 5XD around and hooked probably a five plus. You guys probably saw that clip, but it broke me off at the boat. It hit right at the water's edge and I don't know, I guess I either had a nick in my line or just too tight right there. All that weight right there at the end of the rod, but broke me off, but still a good sign to see a, a fish that big on one of the spots. We just found that spot, it's the first time we've ever fished it. And then we came over here and just grabbed another spot that has a bunch of rock and timber on it as well, in about 14 feet. And there's a pretty good sized school of fish down there. I uh, haven't caught anything here yet, but I did have like four or five bites on like my first one on like my first eight casts and then Ian just said he just had a bite here too so we've had like six bites here in this spot on probably 20 or 25 casts so overall things are looking good seeming like we've kind of found a pattern um, like I said just long tapering points kind of at the mouths of spawning pockets where these post spawn fish can kind of come back out to before they go out really deep for the beginning of summer so that's what we're going to keep rocking with we're going to try and scan around and find at least three to five more of these spots so that way we have a good little rotation and then we'll feel like we have a solid plan, but appreciate y'all watching. Going to get back to it. All right, everyone. So after we filmed that midday update, we really didn't do too much else uh, catching wise, um, just because we had had a lot of bites, um, didn't really need to catch any more at that point. So we spent most of the rest of the day, like the last two or three hours of practice, pretty much behind the wheel, just scanning, uh, finding more of those offshore areas. Um, we were keying in on points at the mouths of spawning pockets that were a little bit flatter, a little bit longer, tapered out into the, you know, further out into the main lake, and they had a more gradual decline. Um, and we were just keying on those at the mouths of spawning pockets where the fish that had just spawned and were freshly post-spawned were coming out and kind of staging before they go way out offshore for the summer, so, or for the, you know, beginning of summer. Um, so that's kind of what we were doing. We were just throwing a 10-inch worm on a Texas rig, a uh, drop shot, a Carolina rig, and a 5XD. We were concentrating in depths between like 8 and 17 feet of water. Um, and if the points had rock bottom or like isolated stumps on them, that made them even better. So that's kind of what we were doing. We just spent the rest of practice after that last clip just kind of scanning around, finding a few more of those areas, uh, and then went in. So, you know, overall it was pretty good practice. We estimated that our best five would have been in the high teens, maybe pushing 20, um, depending on how big that big one that I broke off was. Um, but you know, just a bunch of two and a half to three pounders, a couple, three and a half, four pounders. And then that big one we, we thought was at least five pounds. So, um, overall a good practice. Uh, the tournament day was much tougher. I don't know. The wind kind of died down, uh, during practice, it was a little bit windier. We had a little more cloud cover during the tournament. The sun popped out, um, and there was almost no wind. So it kind of changed the bite, made them a little bit harder to catch. Um, but we still ended up having a decent finish. So. You guys will get to see that in the next video, which will actually come out tomorrow. We're going to do it back-to-back, -to -back, so stay tuned. Tomorrow we're dropping 
TTO stop number two on Cedar Creek. We appreciate y'all watching this video. Stick around for that one tomorrow, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Here we go at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command.